said he lived nearby. What was he doing? I don't know. I checked his phone. There was no indication of a meeting. There was no appointments, calls, or texting hours leading up to his death. Hey, I found the desk clerk who checked in, Justin Marquette. Something's up with this guy. Uh, Mr. Marquette came in about eight. No reservation, which is not unusual. Jane, tell him about the room. Oh, that was unusual. He asked to stay in room 147. In fact, he insisted on it. Is there anything special about 147? No, all the rooms are identical. That's why it was so strange. Had he been here before? Well, he's not in the system, which means he's never been a guest at any Best Traveler hotel. Did you mention why he was staying? He didn't have to. Good-looking guy, no bags, checking in for one night. In my experience, that means he was here to hook up. Did he come here with anyone? Nobody was texting with someone. I figured that's who he was meeting. He texted? Are you sure? We didn't find any texts on his phone. I'm positive. There. See, he's texting. On a flip phone. It's not the phone we found. As far as I can tell, that's the only cell phone registered to Justin Marquette. The one we saw in the video must be a second secret one. Which the killer took to hide their identity. So who is this guy? Why a second phone? And why room 147? I didn't get much from hotel security video coverage is sketchy.